Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tim McBird, a portrait and fashion photographer and also a shoemaker based in London, UK. And today I have um, something very interesting to share with you guys. It's how I did the shot again because I've been doing this more often. And um, so in this particular shot today, I decided to shoot this picture using five different lights, guys. And these five different lights in this particular images were doing different things. And not just using just the five different lights, I decided to use color gels at the same time. So because I know I didn't have access to like a colored background, I decided to use um, two different lights to light up my background, which you can see in the video right here. I decided to use red gels on these lights. I placed this light in two umbrellas, which were like both on the right and the left side using a normal umbrella. So I bounced this light to the background, turning my gray background to red. So those are the first set of lights, which are like two different lights I used to light up the background. So at the same time, since the background is lit already, I decided to light my subject differently because I wanted to use color gels in these pictures or in this particular picture. So I decided to use a beauty dish for my main light for the subject. So, and I didn't just use only a beauty dish this time. I decided to add a grid to the beauty dish so the light doesn't spread and actually like spread to other areas and touch the background and touch other areas which I didn't want it to touch. So I literally just wanted the color gel, um, the, sorry, the beauty dish to just light up my subject face and every other patch should, should fall into shadow. So since I did that and I already set my the main lights which is the beauty dish for my subject face i decided to add extra two lights so the beauty dish was the third light i decided to add extra two lights so the second light i added was a, a light which was bare bulb using a purple gel so the purple gel was basically just camera right and this was just the main idea for this purple gel was actually just to bounce and fill up the shadows around my subject the right side of my subject from my camera hands but which is going to be you guys left so i decided to use the pop gel to fill up the shadow area and at the same time remember this particular light was just a bare bulb light so that means the light is going to spread to the background also which is the purple light is going to get added to the red um, background light so that would actually create a different tint of color so at the same time since that set would add make i i made sure the this lights that i'm setting which has the purple lights is more like a few light so it takes the stop is lower or lesser than the main light so it doesn't overpower my main light or overpower the whole scene so after i've done that i decided to add the extra final light this final light also was also a bare bulb light which was gelled green so in this whole context i added the red to the background the purple to the side the green also which was also a few light to the front so what this also did was it actually filled up my shadow area also from the left hand side of the subject so since i've done that already so i had the mixture of colors of purple green and red behind so the main light which was with the grid was just lighting up my subject face and that was how i ended up having this number of images like this beautiful images so and if you look at the background you can actually see that the background wasn't like a plain red color you could see it you can see it seems a touch of purple touch of green and if you look at my subject also you can see green you can see the purple also so this was just more like a personal project which i decided to do using colors and i actually love the outcome of these images in which the image was also like published in a magazine which i sent them out to and i actually love every single bit of this image and that is how i got the shirt i hope you guys have been able to enjoy this video learn something in this video if you have kindly drop a like and also you could comment something maybe like comment something else you want me to actually share with you guys learn and um also don't forget to subscribe so i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys